Hi, my name is John Barr, and I am going to, to uh, show you how to manipulate a substance that I call super mud. <laughs> uh, clay, um, I'm going to give a brief description of uh, how clay is formed, and it can uh, edify you on how to manipulate it later, possibly. Uh, so clay uh, is generated usually by glaciers or some kind of an erosion process in the past. Uh, a, lot, a lot of it comes from the Eocene. Uh, so as a, a glacier or a river washes down the side of a mountain, it breaks up the granite, uh, limestone, all kinds of different rock. Once it hits the river, these particles are transported a distance. During that time, the particles are sorted by the uh, action of gravity and suspension in the water. So it gets to the end of the river and it's deposited, or wherever there's a still spot in the river, bend in the river. And so that this the particulate matter filters out and down, and it tends to be uh, small stuff floats or is suspended in the water, and as it slows down, it drops out. So you get a deposit of fine mud. Any kind of mud, any place in the world can be fired and, and made into a pot. But the uh, organic matter and the different properties come from you know, whatever rock was uh, eroded, say it was granite, it would make a different kind of clay, or calcite, it makes porcelain, or you know, who knows, whatever, whatever the material is gives it its properties. So, these particles are uh, much like glass microscope slides, for those of you old enough to remember science class, <laughs> microscope slides. If you remember, when they got wet, they all stuck together. And if you were to slide those around, they would, you know, stretch out. If you stretched them out, you had enough of them wet, you could actually stretch them in a circle. So. You take this dust that you get in the bags, uh, Cedar Heights or whatever is your local clay, and when you introduce water to it, the water encircles these, these particles, and once the water completely encircles it, they behave like these old microscope slides, and it starts to be able to do this, mm. bend and hold its shape. So. What we do here is, after we've mixed it, which will be another episode of mixing clay, we take it to the wedging table. And this is the first step in throwing pots. You have to beat it and mix the moisture levels together. The older the clay is, the more the water encapsulates each molecule, the more plastic it is. So clay that's five years old will do things that clay that you mix that day won't do. This clay is probably three or four weeks old. So it's uh, quite acceptable for throwing and modeling, but you couldn't make handles or stretch it uh, to do anything really uh, intricate. Say, you, maybe you're familiar with handles on coffee cups where they actually bend it, almost knotting it, or uh, say, uh, uh, wish we had a picture of it. So anyway, I'm going to show you the first stage of how to prepare the clay, except for the mixing part. This is called wedging. This is a big ball of clay. Next episode, we're going to show you how to throw really large pots with as little power as possible. So this is a big ball. This is too big to really wedge and mix. So we're going to cut it in half. This clay is pretty close to being ready already. You don't see a lot of air bubble activity. So it's already pretty clean. It's also the moisture levels have already been worked through it. But we're going to show you the mixing process. Uh, this is called wet. This is called coning. 
Uh, and then wedging, I believe, is called when you smash it. This is wedging. Okay, so we're going to comb. So it's, it's much like uh, uh, rolling or uh, kneading dough, but there's a little bit of a difference since it's so stiff. There's an angle of attack that you need to achieve to get it to move. So what we do here is pound it into a slight cylinder here, and then when you rock it forward and you hit it, you're going to slide it and roll back and pull towards yourself. This motion is deceptively complicated, and so you got to get this right. It takes a while to learn how to do this, so don't get discouraged. So I'm going to do it slow at first, and then I'm going to speed the process up. See, I'm pulling back. I'm rolling up on my toes a little bit, using my body weight, locking my elbows in, and pushing. Now this mixes the clay. So if you had two different moisture levels, this is how you'd bring the two, or if you were mixing two different types of clay together to achieve color or stiffness. See how I'm sliding it with the hit. Now after four or five of these hits, it's getting too, it's stretching this direction. So you want to tilt it back up, start again another direction. Kind of makes a face, I always thought it looked like a ram. It's about time to tilt it. One little quick crush, go. Two, four, six, seven, eight. That was about 10 hits. Okay, so you see the spiral developing. That may or may not help if you kept that, when you made your ball to go to the wheel head, show you in a second. Uh, that spiral, I think, maybe helps in the centering, keeping track of that. Probably doesn't matter. If now we're wedging. And at this point, you're driving the, driving the clay into a usable shape for the wheel head. I like a half circle. Some people like to make it into a complete ball. The advantage to a complete ball is that when it strikes the bat and the wheel head, you're going to throw it down. When it hits, I mean, just that much almost makes it stick. So you're stuck. If when you uh, when you go to the wheel head, if you have a little dimple like that, that's going to be in there later when you turn the pot over and trim it. That'll cause you some problems. Also, when you're joining two balls together, get this round surface. And when you slam these two together, it's less likely to develop air bubbles in that joint. <coughs> this is probably a 25 pound ball. And at this point in, this, in the video, we're going to stop and we're going to start on the centering and throwing portion. Everyone have a very nice day in your quest for control over super mud. <laughs>